In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to make a clear side panel for your PC, just like this one that you can see right behind me. It's a very simple process and it only costs about 40 Australian dollars. So what will you need for this project? It all starts off with a measuring tape or measuring device of some sort. You'd need either a tape measure or a ruler that's long enough to measure your previous side panel. Then you'll need some sort of marker to mark what you've measured onto the piece of acrylic. And of course you'll need a saw to cut the acrylic. A lot of people say that using the scoring method is the best way of cutting the acrylic, but I tried that and I failed pretty horribly as you can see in the footage right now and I almost scratched some of the acrylic and made it turn out really bad. So the sawing method is much easier. You don't need a working table, clamps, a very straight piece of metal and it's a lot faster as well. Then you also need a can of spray paint, preferably whatever color your case is and this is just going to be to paint the bezels around the side panel so then it covers up the magnetic strips and also covers up the little mounting holes on the case. Then we'll need at least a meter of magnetic strip with adhesive on one side and then magnet on the other, which should be about one centimeter wide. And last but not least, you'll need a three millimeter thick piece of acrylic sheet or plexiglass. For pretty much all cases on the market, unless your case is absolutely monstrous in size, 600 by 600 millimeters should cover your case size and then you'll just need to cut it to size. Now, if you do wanna save some money and you have a case that's small than 400 by 400 millimeters then you can buy 400 by 400 or 300 by 300 or any size smaller and I'll leave a link to the eBay listing where I bought my acrylic sheet so you know where to buy yours from and it's the best deal I could find on eBay so let's get into the process of how I actually built this I first had to measure the side panel on my computer case and it turned out mine was 480 by 438 millimeters. So I took out the measuring tape and marked two spots on both the top and the bottom side of the acrylic so that the cut would be square instead of just having one mark. You'll probably end up giving me a very unsquare cut which would not look good on this side panel at all. And this method actually turned out working out very well and I didn't need a square ruler or anything of that sort. And by the way, what I used to mark the line was just a straight piece of wood and it ended up being perfectly fine. It would have been nice to have a very long ruler but I didn't have one of those. So once I marked it out I began cutting and it took me about 20 minutes to cut everything down. Once I had cut it it was time to get onto the painting process. So what I first did was measure out a one centimeter bezel with the method of marking two dots, one at the bottom and one at the top, which would give me a square line for the bezels. It turns out using a one centimeter bezel is actually way too small for my case, but at the end of the day, it doesn't really look too bad anyway, and I still like how it looks. But next time, if I was to do this again, I would have gone with a two centimeter bezel. So once I had done that, I did that on all four sides, and then I used a Stanley knife to cut down the plastic protection on there and then peeled it all away. Then I got my gloss black paint and I spray painted it on there in the driveway with the cardboard that the acrylic sheet came in to protect the driveway from getting paint on it. Now with this method, I actually ended up doing about two to three coats. And even then there is still a bit of light that leaks through the black paint. But when you put magnets on, it actually gets rid of all the light leakage. So then I waited a couple days for that to dry. And then it came finally to the time where I'd peel off everything and see how the paint job turned out and see if I've left a lot of scratches on the acrylic, which actually didn't turn out to be many on there. Once I'd done that, I had to cut down my magnetic strips to a bit smaller of a size because mine were actually 13 millimeters instead of one centimeter. And I didn't look at this earlier, which is a bit of a stupid decision on my half, but I just cut them down and stuck them on. Now, if you know anything about computers, you might know that hard drive can get affected by magnets. And so using magnets in the computer might not be a good idea. Well, actually these magnets are very, very weak. Even just covering around the whole bezel of the acrylic sheet is only just strong enough to hold the acrylic sheet up. And so using these type of magnets is perfectly safe for a hard drive and it's pretty much as strong as a fridge magnet. 
I'd also like to mention that I stuck the magnets onto the side where the paint was painted and the side that isn't painted without the magnets on it is the side that sticks out of the computer and is the side that's seen and that's the side that looks best. So let's talk about some of the reasons you might want to do this to your case and let me ex at least explain why I did it in my case. The case I actually really like, it has space for six fans and it's got dust filters on all of them. It's very easy to clean them, very easy to do things on. It's a massive case, very big, and I really like the look of it. Just the one shortcoming of it is that it doesn't have a clear side panel. And because of that, it used to look quite boring. So on this desk, it just looked very plain and simple. But I knew that I wanted to have a clear side panel on this computer because it looks way better, as you can see. You might have a different situation why you want, might want to do it. But at the end of the day, it's up to you why you want to do it. and. You know, hopefully this tutorial helped you out in how to do it. It was very simple to do, but I actually overcomplicated for myself by making a few mistakes. And let me go over those mistakes. So the first mistake I did was I tried using the scoring method on the acrylic sheet, which as everyone knows is a good method and is the correct method to cut acrylic. But after actually doing some research, I figured out cutting it with a handsaw is actually way better and way simpler. You don't need to use clamps and you don't need to have a big workbench and all this stuff. You can just cut it straight like that. While with the scoring method, you need to have a very straight piece of steel, which I didn't have. You need clamps to clamp the piece of steel and the piece of acrylic to a desk and all that and even when you cut it like that and you snap it there's still a little bit of deviation in the straightness well with this method with the saw it turned out extremely straight I'm very happy with it and it only took maybe 20 minutes without all the time spent trying to score the whole thing and almost damaging it and that's the first mistake I learned from and you know I've learned for next time not to do that the second mistake was when I was cutting it with the saw it did move a bit and I didn't have any fabric between the piece of wood I was cutting it on and the piece of acrylic so there is a, a few scratches on it because of that and yes, there is protective plastic on it, but it did get some scratches that went past that plastic and went onto the actual acrylic sheet. But it's not a very big deal. And only when you look close at it, you can actually see the scratches, otherwise it's not noticeable. So if you are gonna do this, make sure to keep those two mistakes in mind and don't do what I did. Now, if you do do it and you encounter any other issues with it, leave it down in the comments below so other people can learn from you and so we can all together refine the process and make it a lot easier to make these clear side panels. So hopefully this video did help you out. If it did, drop a like on the video. If it didn't, drop a dislike on the video. Remember to subscribe to the channel for more videos like this and many other budget-oriented tech and DIY with videos. And I'll catch you guys in the next video.